Hey folks, I'm H. This is Dr. Pink, and today's topic is a romantic rock ballad. Uh, some of you out there uh, posted a comment in one of my previous tutorials and was asking for a song to impress somebody which has um, gone into the heart of this person. And I love stories like this. I'm a kind of romantic person. I love stories. Love stories. And of course, I'm gonna try to help out that you get or you can impress the person you you love. That's what it's music sometimes is about. And if you have your story about the person you love, you want to impress, become a member of the HB Crazy Students Club. Tell us your story, and we try to figure out the correct song which might work to solve your um, your romantic problem. So, but let's see what I've chosen now. I think this one is really emotional. We're gonna learn the rhythm guitar, the melody, and some ideas for improvisation. It's from my CD uh, in rock, it's called Ballad. Yep, this is how it sounds. Yeah, and so on. It's a very slow, very soft song, a very emotional song, but uh, it's not easy to play, I can tell you guys, especially when it comes to improvisation. But we want to keep it simple that everybody of you has a chance, and especially the person who was asked for this has a chance to play this song. Let's first start with the rhythm guitar. And the first instructions are it's in 6 8, so it's 1, 2, 3. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. You count one, two, three, four, five. That's the way you count. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the way you count. And that's the vibe of the song. It's a waltz. If you want to choose ballads to, imp to create emotions, any kind of three, three, four, six, eight, the waltz is a symbol of eternity because it's a circle. And that's why we always choose waltz to make things really emotional when it comes to love stories. Of course, waltz is the right thing. That's where everybody dances the waltz on a wedding because it's the symbol of eternity. Yeah, so let's get started now with the rhythm guitar. The rhythm guitar is originally played on acoustic guitar, but I don't change the guitar now for that. <laughs> You can play it on electric if you want. Uh, as I would recommend finger picking. If not, you can also do with your pick. But in, with finger picking is really simple. We have a C minor bar here, and then thumb is here on the A string, and then you just count through one finger or through each other. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just tuck, 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 tuck. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, really simple. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the next chord is really as simple as it could be. is a A flat major seven. You just keep the C minor um, chord. Just move your index finger on the fourth fret here on the uh, E string. This creates a A flat major seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then comes the G7 that goes like this. Third fret um, E string, third fret D string, third fret B string, and pinky on the G string on the fourth fret. 
That's it. And same picking pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then comes a little difficulty. In this case, you make a little pull off. And then when you, you reach the B string with your ring finger, then you make a pull off. And then middle finger, index finger on G and uh, blah, 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 D string. So the whole figure is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Same thing again. And the ending is you just play a C5 chord, third fret, and here <coughs> little Barry in the fifth fret on the D and G string. See, that's how it is. That's the whole thing. Then comes the second part, it's really simple. Then we go to F minor 7. Here you make a bar in the first fret over the D, G and B string. With the middle finger you grab the first fret on the E string. A string is damped and same here if... Play that twice. Go to A flat major again. To G. And then the whole thing starts from the beginning. I'm gonna play the whole thing now that you can see the structure of the song. It's really simple. It's just this. And I'm gonna play it out. As I said, it's just these two parts and they just move around away as, as I show now, but you can also create your own version if you want. <coughs> it's not really, but I must say my versions are mostly the cool ones. <laughs> well, not always, but often. Yeah, so that's now the rhythm guitar. <coughs> it's really simple. The lead guitar is not as simple as you might think. Um, why? Because it's very slow. 6-8 is always difficult to play because, because it can make a lot of wrong notes. So my recommendation is stick to the melody and don't um, play around too much. Now with the melody, if you, I work with delay to get a really nice lead sound and you set the delay on. When you count through, one, two, three, four, five, six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, six. That's the tapping tempo of the delay, and that gives you the right vibe, not on the quarter note, because you can one, two, three, four, five, six. You can, I already said it now, you can hear it. Good. So, the melody is really simple, but it's, as I said, it's not as simple as you might think. Because a lot of tricks in it to make it sound really emotional. And my re recommendation for everybody is, and I really tried to play six, eight ballads many years, I'd always put too many notes. Six, eight ballads, they work uh, best if you play very few notes, but those notes you're playing are exactly the way you want from the. And that's what we're gonna check out with the melody. The melody is really simple. I'm gonna quickly switch off the delay. 
goes, it's in C minor, so we're in C minor uh, minor scale or pentatonic as you like here. Or in the first position. We have these two positions, but we play in the low position. So we start in here. That's the main melody of the first part. It looks really simple, but there's a lot of tricks behind. You're in the eighth fret, sixth, fourth. So we are starting with a rake. A rake is. And then we go in a very long note. That means the vibrators are very essential. See, I accelerate to the end of the note because when the delay comes in, then it doubles up this effect of whoop and da, you know, that keeps repeating. That's really a uh, very important technique on ballads. And then, then we go down here, six, four, and this little, this little phrasing trick is, well, you play the note in the six, but you start on the four, and you make, see? Then, when we go back to the first note, the G, we slide up from the sixth fret. See? Maybe the second time you play this, this note twice to have a little variation. And the second time, we res resolve here in the fifth fret. Let's check that out. There's first an intro where you don't play anything. As I said, not playing can be very nice. Just it's a ballad. You have to have emotions flowing. You don't have to play all the time. Also, not talk all the time. <laughs> so now we start. What is also important, we start on one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't start on the one <coughs> because it's like you expect something and where is it? And here it comes and that creates even more emotions, you know, like ah, 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 here it is, you know. That's, that's the trick. If you play it on the one, it doesn't have the same effect as you play it on the four. And you get a one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the way you count, you know. And also, when we finish on this note here, also you have the same thing with the vibrator, accelerate to the end of the note. Let's do it again, see how it works. This is like doing nothing is sometimes better than do something when it comes to, to love anyway. <laughs> now it starts. and when I played it the melody the second time I made some slight movements in the melody the second time slight bending but not too much these little variations they make the difference don't play it the same way all the time um, a good uh, instrumental song has mostly a very simple melody but lives on this little um, this little um, phrasing tricks or articulation tricks with the banding, with the vibrator, little variations on that. Or like when I play the second time, the melody, one, two, three, play twice instead of just one. This gives a thing of, okay, I want to say it again, but more clear, you know what I mean? That's, these are all philosophies behind, sounds simple, but it's not so simple as you might think. Yeah, let's go further. Um, 
Oh, oops. Wait, I have to go back here. Uh, second part is really simple. Now we need a highlight in the melody. We it's really simple, but, but the thing is, we have to hit the, the bending here. We go in the bending here in the 11th. This is not so easy as it looks like. First bending goes straight up. And second time you go slowly up and then go in the vibrator. And then resolve it from 11, 9, 8. Let's see how that works. That's another method. Uh, <coughs> you play the melody. Um, I went into the bending, then the melody came back, but instead of, this was the melody of the note of the first part, instead of playing again the same melody, you just, just let it ring. The, the person who listens still has the melody in mind, but then something else happens. This creates more emotional impact, you know what I mean? And that's what we want. <laughs> Actually, that's my main thing I can do um, in music. I'm, maybe I'm not the best technical player in the world, but I know how to play emotional. Because <laughs> that's what I always did research on. Yeah, good. Um, let's do the whole thing again. Now you can see how it develops develop the melody that's the main thing which counts it doesn't have to be complicated but it has to be developed that the emotions grow Sorry guys, I forgot to, to hold it off the, the beeper, but what you now heard what I did. Um, and then you felt the emotions going back down instead of instead of playing that. That I just played legato slow. Without attacking at all. Then it doesn't get so loud, but we don't want this. We want to get to this gentleness and softness back. We create emotions, build it up, and then go back to gentleness. That's what really makes the big difference on creating simple melodies, you know? And um, it's not the notes, it's your intention, your, the way you play it, and the way you develop your tone on the guitar. I got a lot of messages uh, about my tone all the time, and I always say I have this and this gear, but it's not about the gear, it's about you creating the tone here. Well, it's also about the gear, of course, but not so much as m many of you might think. It's about how you create the tone here. That's the main thing, really. Good. So now, what shall we do in the improvisation? I will not do too much, if I were you. I would stick to the melody, but start to... Or just some additional notes. Let's see what we can do. I honestly, I don't remember. I, I recorded a song very long time ago. I don't remember what I did there. So let's start now with the first melody and get in, into improvisation.
Yeah, I would do something like this. I think my guitar is out of tune. Ah, I knew it. Yeah, so what did I do now? I played soft stuff here. And let's get back to distortion. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna sit. Okay. So, I just played soft stuff without attacking so much. See, I just didn't do much. Then I went... Then I went in the high position. And then repeated the melody again in the high position. So... And as you heard, when you don't have the pitch of the high bendings, then you're busted. In my case, uh, the guitar wasn't... Uh, but, uh, Dr. Pink was out of tune. <laughs> so, um, really have to have a guitar tuned. But um, the high ones are really... If it's so spacey, then you really have to be secure. About it. And you really hit those. It's the same thing up here from the melody, but the intensity is way higher up here than below. It's, I mean, it's not a brainer to play it here. It's the 13th fret here in the bending here, but the, the point is to get the pitch. <laughs> That's really the point. Yeah, let's give it another shot. See, I was noodling around a little bit here in the low position, not too many notes. I still felt there was two or three notes too much. As I said at the beginning, six, eight ballads is the hardest thing you can do on guitar. Serious. Especially when it's so spacey. This one is really hard to play, believe me, guys. If you want to have it really on the point, you have to have total control over everything. And um, it's a bit hard to talk and be exactly on the point on this because it's really hard also with the high notes um, you have really have to get them on the point this one has to be pa like this also this this effect you know and you hear this additional noise you have here when you have the music on, you don't hear that so much. This is part of it, how you control your tone. You hear this noise? You cannot avoid this. Try to work with this additional noise which is created and to make it really emotional. That's the main thing I want to tell you guys. Yeah, folks, what more to say? I mean, uh, as I said, six, eight ballads, the slow ones, well, they're always slow. The love songs, the, the love ballads, they're always this this is the really well country guitar is also very hard to play but this stuff is the hardest from my opinion because it's only a few notes but you have so much time to make wrong notes that's the point <coughs> and that you are able to always control your tone and you always know what you're doing and you always get the perfect expression on each note that's kind of a challenge but a challenge which can be accepted if you want to post your um, uh, version of this song or any ballad go to, a, to the HP Crazy Students Club uh, as described there how you can do that to post stuff there and uh, get a review from your other people and see if you really got the emotional impact on your thing to impress somebody else <laughs> yeah 
If you want to download the backing track and the tabs of this, what I was talking about now, they're also there available there in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. Join there in times of COVID. It makes sense because we had a lot of time to study guitar and it's only a little price to make the upgrade that you can download all files there. Uh, so really, uh, don't hesitate to join there and join our commun little community there, which is building up. <laughs> yeah. Good, one more to say. If you have any suggestions or comments or whatever, put them, uh, post it in the comments. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, when you go to the HP Crazy, the link in the description box, which leads to the HP Crazy Guitar Academy, if you lo love what I'm doing, scroll the page down and write me a review on Google uh, Maps, as you see it there. Good. Me and Dr. Pink are going to play at the end for you. I hope you enjoy this and you can impress the person you want to impress and it turns out the way you want. Sometimes it doesn't, but that me just means that this person was not for you. Uh, it took me many years to come to this statement. <laughs> so uh, you can trust me on that, guys. Yo, so let's do that. <laughs> 